whatever you feed can't take from what's out in the field. That has to be 100% forced. Um, you, you do need to carry minerals. You do need to protect against acidosis. Um, you, to me, you have to feed up until the end of April, give or take. Basically, until the end of the second round. That's nearly a given. Um, after that, it's, it's a question of filling deficits. Um, for me, you, know, you, you can argue that like that it pays to feed or it doesn't pay to feed or all this kind of thing, but I think for the route I'm going and where I want to go and the type of animal I have here, it, it's really get as much grass in, get the utilisation as high as possible long term, grow as much as possible, especially on the shoulders, and um, and fill the gap with, with, with meal. You can't value that time highly enough, like, to actually force yourself to go do it, like, because um, it's instant information. It's not looking out over a wire up across. There's such and such and that. There isn't such and such and that. You can see a deficit. You can see a surplus coming easily a week ahead of a guy that's just walking around the place. And if you were seeing something a week ahead, you, you can hold the deficit from going too low, or you can take the surpluses out and, and keep the quality in front. Perfect. Pressure on pressure on grass grows grass. You know that the higher your stocking rate, the more you will utilise it. You know, and the more you will actually grow. Um, I I think I get nervous saying it at times, but I, I suppose again qualifying it with the optimistic hat being on. Utilising somewhere up against 14 ton here on a relatively dry farm, I think is possible. Um, which would be very sweet. Now that that would be nice, like. Output per cow, you'd budget on 420, 425. I think 450 with the type of animal I have is probably achievable. Will it be consistently achievable? Probably not. So, again, stick with the, the more conservative budget for, for planning anyway. Um, the, the type of cow, the breed of cow, is, is a debate that uh, went on here five or six or seven years ago, and we didn't go there. And it's been going on for the last 12 months, and I think we're sticking black and white. Um, if you look at the 100-year-old hybrid vigor that's available by crossbreeding, 60%, um, 61% of that is uh, from fertility. We're already a fertile herd, so really we're only gaining 40 euro. Even even at 100 euro with the genetic gain within the black and white herd, the hybrid vigor doesn't bring enough. And, and we already have 60, we're not gaining a full 100, so I, I don't see it.